Hey, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to do a review of the APALs, the all-purpose adhesive light strips from Bright Strike Technologies. Uh, these were designed as combat markers and identifiers. Uh, they're very lightweight, small. Uh, they can be seen up to about a quarter mile. I have an advertised runtime of about 35 hours, uh, but in the video you'll see it goes way past that. Uh, there's several different modes uh, for the lights themselves. Uh, the adhesive backed that will uh, adhere to uh, wet or dry surfaces and they're waterproof and dustproof. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first portion of this is uh, a test I did on a fence at my house here. Uh, so let's check it out. Alright, so here we have the, uh, the green APALs. I've uh, stuck it on the wooden fence here to see how the uh, adhesive holds up. And we've been going for uh, 9 hours and 15 minutes uh, on this slow flash, and it's still holding up really well. So we'll come back and see uh, how long it lasts here. I don't think we have any rain in the forecast, um, but I mean, this adhesive is solid. I mean, that thing's, that thing's not coming off of there. All right, here we are. It's about 8.30 at night. Uh, it's still still pretty light out, uh, but trying to film this in total darkness is almost impossible. Uh, so anyway, we're at 225 hours, and uh, the light's still going good. Uh, not as bright as it was when we first started, uh, but once it gets dark, I mean, it's definitely identifiable. Um, the adhesive is still on here. We did get a really good uh, rainstorm come through uh, yesterday and I mean the adhesive is still still good to go uh, plus the heat and humidity here in Florida so anyway uh, yep, 225 hours and it's still going strong so we'll just uh, keep checking back and uh, see how long this, this guy will go All right, guys, the uh, APALS is finally done, and uh, let's see here. Went for uh, 323 hours, four minutes. Uh, it's a little bit over two weeks, and uh, finally died out. The uh, It did go a little bit longer than that, had a really diminished glow, but this 323 is where I, where I basically stopped it. Um, that was, had stuff going on, so that was probably, uh, a week ago um, but it's finally completely done um, but add another week onto that for the adhesive um, because it's stuck to the wood with no problem so uh, really impressed with that we had a bunch of uh, rainstorms and stuff come through here and the humidity and everything going on and uh, it's held up fine on the wood so pretty impressive so here's a uh, quick overview of the APALs uh, as you can see the different flash patterns here. Uh, here's obviously the, uh, the green one. A little hard to shoot in the dark, uh, but you get the, the gist of it. Here's the uh, amber. Uh, here's the infrared. For whatever reason, my camera was able to pick up on a little bit. Uh, it just gives you an example of the uh, flash patterns there. Uh, there's a, a button that gives you the different flash patterns, fast, slow flash, and then the uh, steady on. As you can see here, the uh, since they're designed as markers, uh, the colored ones have a really sh reflective, shiny uh, covering, coating on, on the outside there, as opposed to the uh, infrared which has a black matte type of coating. Gets a, gives off a pretty good amount of light. Here you can see the uh, the button for the flash patterns again. Uh, it's colored on the button itself so you can tell the difference uh, between the colors which is easy if you have a bunch of them uh, in a bag together or something like that. Uh, on the back here is the 3M adhesive, uh, as you saw in the video earlier. I mean, it does a really good job of uh, sticking to wood or just about anything else. 
So here I have a, a green APALS in an ATAX uniform and as you can see it'll shine right through the material including the, uh, the female side velcro. Uh, it's a great option for marking uh, your uniforms or your equipment at night uh, work in low light situations uh, when your buddies are pretty close but uh, you want to identify yourself. Uh, this would have been great in training uh, to identify different teams by different colors at night things like that. The standard was chem, chem lights, but I think these work much better. So here we have a tactical tailor backpack with a amber APALS in one of the pockets. Uh, the thinner material really lets the uh, light shine through there. This would be a good option to mount it inside as opposed to outside uh, where you want to subdue the light down. Um, you know, a good option for marking your bag from your buddies or even, um, you know, a medical kit or something like that. Uh, from the rest of your gear. Uh, just shows an option that's bright enough that it'll shine through the uh, thinner materials. Uh, what I did here is I mounted uh, some hook and loop to the back of uh, this, this green APALS um, to be able to mount it on, on your equipment or anything you have hook and loop on. Um, you know, throw it up front there for some light. Uh, you could even throw it up on the uh, if you got some Velcro or a hook and loop on the shoulder portion of it. Um, or for training, this would be a great option. Uh, throw it on the back of your uh, drag handle and um, you know, you'd be able to, to distinguish yourself uh, or your team or anything like that from your buddies. So just some more options. Uh, you know, the sticky tape on the back is great. Just throw some hook and loop on there and you're good to go. So here's a uh, SKD pig plate carrier. Actually, it's the pre-production one, so it's basically eagle plate carrier. And uh, as you can see with the thinner material, uh, the APALS has no problem whatsoever shining through there. Um, as you'll see next here, I have a uh, Woosach plate carrier uh, with a lot thicker material. And uh, there's the lights just not shining through there. So something like this, you'd have to mount the APALS on the outside if you wanted to mark your equipment with it. Um, a lot of manufacturers are starting to go to lighter weight materials or uh, thinner materials in different areas. So for the most part, you can still get away with, uh, you know, putting the APALS in one of your pockets if, if that's what you wanted to do to mark your gear. So here's another great use for the APALS. Um, low light, where say you're doing a surveillance in a vehicle and you need to uh, look at a photograph or uh, look at your map, uh, but you don't want to get out your flashlight or even a bigger light that has a like a red LED or something like that, but you need to look at your notepad or read a piece of paper like this. Um, I've been using the APALS uh, while doing surveillance uh, and they work great. Um, you know, you can turn the light on with it in your hand and what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of cupping my hand and distributing the light through my fingers. Um, so you basically adjust the light just with your hand and you know, you could do that with a flashlight but just the thin flat design of, of these guys um, really helps with, uh, with doing this. So if you need full light, boom, you just you know, hold it regular and you have full light. Um, if, if you don't need it, you just cup it with your hand. Um, the long battery life um, and the fact that they're very small and you can throw them in a pocket, um, you know, you can throw a couple in a couple different pockets of your shirt, shorts, whatever you have, and uh, you basically always have, have the light with you. Good for camping or anything else. So I have to admit that when I first got the APALS, um, I was like, whoa, these things are super shiny. I mean, they're designed for markers, so obviously uh, they have the, the shiny material to uh, support that. Um, but I was looking for something um, that would be subdued. So what I did was I took some uh, hook and loop and basically cut it around the pattern of the of the ape house there and it's a sticky backed hook and loop so I just stuck it on that side 
and then I just put hook and loop on the back um, and that kind of subdued down the outside of the APALs. So, I mean, you see the, the difference there and when it's off, you don't have the uh, anything shiny on there. So, just a, uh, you know, gets rid of that, that shine and, and stuff like that when it's on there, so. Uh, just another another option for uh, for the ape house, and again, um, that's basically what it looks like. Uh, I did mark it here um, for the button, just so it's easy to uh, to see. You just slap it on there, and uh, you're good to go. So here's another option. I have a uh, OSOE uh, breakaway uh, blowout kit here and um, another another easy way to mark your equipment uh, or medical or anything like that would be to uh, mount one of your APALs on the interior of this so what we'll do is we'll open this guy up here and what I'm gonna do is just mount you can mount the APALs into uh, some of the webbing like so now these are cheap and if you're in the military and you can get a bunch of them then you could just take off the adhesive and stick it to the back of that for uh, for your missions or whatever um, and then all you need to do is buckle it back up And you have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a marker um, for your equipment. So let me turn the light off, and we'll see how that looks in, in the dark. It's a little hard to see uh, in complete darkness, but you get the idea of it. Um, just another use of the uh, the APALs. I like this idea, especially with this type of uh, blowout kit, uh, to mark your medical. Um, once you get it cinched up, you can also uh, change the patterns while it's in there. So you could put it on the fast flash or the uh, slow flash uh, or steady on. So speaking of medical, uh, the list of using these goes on and on, uh, but if you have a uh, hook and loop uh, attached to one of the APALs and you have a cat tourniquet, you could easily um, throw one of these on the tail end of the, the hook and loop portion of the cat tourniquet, um, just as another identifier that you've got a tourniquet on somebody. This would be great for uh, at nighttime in an aircraft or uh, ambulance or, or anywhere. Just another another option, um, you know, another medical option you could use it for. So let's go ahead and, uh, and try it out. So we'll uh, get, get your cat out and uh, s slap it on your effective uh, limb and uh, get it cinched down. You know, obviously you get it situated and start cranking down on it and get it where you need it um, and then you could simply uh, grab your APALs turn it on and uh, just stick it on there easy as that so anyway uh, this is Eric with ITS Tactical and thanks for watching